Okay, uh, I'm going to do a little video here on uh, Thaco and Armor Class, how they work together, and some of the things that modify them. I know Thaco in particular seems to mystify quite a few people. A lot of people, there's a big misconception that it is extremely difficult to use Thaco to determine the head number. And I'm hopefully going to be able to uh, debunk that in this video. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start off with um, the fact that in, well, why did it go forward and that did not? Okay, there we go. In, uh, in second edition, and this is probably still true in, in uh, 3, 3.5, 4, and, and 5th edition, but in 2nd edition, uh, for the most part, 20 always hits, 1 always misses. Um, there were uh, optional critical hit uh, systems and critical miss systems that were not, uh, generally speaking, as complex as some of the stuff that you can find online today. For instance, in my game, uh, if you roll a 20, basically unless there's something special having to do with the item that you're using where it has something that happens when you roll a 20 uh, if you're just using a regular old weapon if you roll a 20 uh, you double the damage that you actually roll on the dice and then add any uh, any additional bonus damage to to the top of that and if you roll a one uh, you slip and fall on your butt and you've got to sp uh, spend an action to pick yourself up if you want to be back up on your feet. All right. Now, when it comes to uh, both Armor Class and Thaco, as you can see here, they both start out high, 20 and 10 respectively, and as you go up in level, or as you uh, get things that improve your Armor Class, they decrease, so it is descending. Uh, and uh, Thaco, for the most part, runs from 20 to 1, although there are a few exceptions to that. There are negative Thacos out there. And uh, Armor Class runs from 10 to negative 10. Um, 10, there, there can be worse than 10. Uh, but uh, 10 is generally a conscious person who is not overly quick, you know, doesn't get a dex bonus, standing around in regular clothes, who's not surprised or any of that. And while a negative 10 would be uh, uh, someone who is extremely quick, wearing uh, the magic plate mail that's to the highest degree of magic, and in this case, for the most part, that means plus five. There are a few plus sixes in both uh, uh, to hit and, and in like armor class and, and that sort of thing, but for the most part, it tops out at plus five. And also having, uh, um, uh, being extremely dexterous, like having a 20 dexterity, or maybe having, uh, having a couple of magic items that will stack with their armor. Um, regular full plate mail for someone who who is not quick enough to get a dex bonus is going to be a zero and then the different uh, types of armor will will bring you down like uh, just a uh, regular leather armor a full suit of that you're gonna be at an eight uh, chain mail is a five that sort of thing all right now we go to how you use this information if you are in the positive range of numbers from 10 to 0 here, you basically take the Thaco of the person who is, who is tr attempting to hit and the armor class of the person who they are attempting to hit, and you subtract the armor class from the Thaco. Now, the part that seems to confuse everybody and everybody, this is where the, uh, you know, I've seen people say, like in trying to use Thaco to, uh, you know, advanced calculus, which it is not. This is still, the hard part is still only second grade math. Uh, you take the person who's trying to do the hitting's Thaco, 
and you add the absolute value of the of the armor class of the person they're trying to hit. So in other words, you just drop the negative sign and add it to the Thaco, and that is your to hit number. And you're trying to roll that number or higher in in second edition, and that's rolling over instead of under. Well, having decreasing armor class and Thaco are the are the big differences between D20 and 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 the Thaco system and pretty much everything else I believe is the same. Uh, but just in case I'm wrong, I'm going to go through a couple of examples here since I'm not that familiar with the D20 system. Uh, over here with a positive armor class, uh, since Thaco is, stands for two hit armor class of zero, I figured I would give zero as, a, as an example. Uh, your second or third level fighter with an 18 Thaco, goes up against someone, and someone wearing full plate mail, has a zero armor class. Well, that means that the to hit number that you have to roll, you have to equal or get above on a d20 is 18. So basically your Thaco, if you're going up against someone with a zero armor class, your, your Thaco is what you've got to roll or better to hit them. All right, now over here with a, with a negative armor class, if the same same fighter is going up against someone who not only has plate mail on but who is who's pretty quick and gets a dexterity bonus and they've got a negative one armor class then you come over here that negative one we take the absolute value of it it becomes a one we add it to 18 so that means that the hit hit number is uh, 19 so he'll hit on a 19 or a 20. All right, a couple of more examples down here. Um, if, and this is a, a something you're more likely to run into, if your same fighter is going up against someone with a six armor class, well, six, uh, 18 minus six is 12, so they need to roll a 12 or higher to hit that person. Uh, now, if they're going up against someone with a negative six armor class, well, 18, uh, screwed up my sign there, plus 6 is 24. Well, because of what we said up here, that 24 basically is no harder to hit than a 20, so he'll hit him on a 20. All right, now I'm going to get into things that can modify your Thaco or how to calculate someone's Thaco. The first thing that, uh, that is used to calculate Thaco is um, their class and their level. Uh, I don't have my player's handbook with me right now, but the uh, the table that that is on is on uh, page 91 of the second edition, the original second edition's player's handbook. I'm not talking about the uh, revised version that came out in 1995, but the one that came out in 1989. Uh, and basically, um, uh, Warriors... Um, Thaco improves basically every time they go up one level, their Thaco drops one. Uh, I believe clerics are next, then rogues, so thieves and bards, and then the wizards have the slowest Thaco progression. Uh, after that, the thing that that uh, is the next thing that is most common to modify someone's Thaco is their strength. If they've got high strength. Um, I believe above a 15, uh, they start getting uh, to hit modifiers uh, with their weapons. Uh, same thing is also true with damage modifiers they get for high strength, but that doesn't really apply here. Uh, after that, uh, if they are a fighter or if you're playing Dark Sun, a gladiator, um, and there may be a few other kits that I'm unaware of that also allow specialization, but they can specialize. and. 
with a melee weapon anyway, uh, uh, specialization in a melee weapon uh, adds plus one to uh, to hit, plus two to damage, and then also allows for multiple attacks uh, depending on what the character's level is. Um, after that, you have the weapon itself. Uh, it could be that it, like in the case of a, a low-level character in playing in the uh, Dark Sun campaign setting, they might have a weapon that is made out of obsidian or bone or stone or wood, and in that case there would be negative modifiers, usually both to, uh, to hit and to damage, or they might have a, uh, a magical weapon which can give them positive modifiers. Uh, like I said before when I was talking about up here when it came to the range of Thacko, generally uh, magical weapons only go up to plus five, although there are a very few plus six magic weapons that are actually uh, in print canon magical weapons. Uh, after that you've got spells that can improve your Thacko, uh, giving you bonuses to hit. Uh, generally, uh, I guess uh, nowadays they'd be called uh, spells that, that buff the character or the, uh, the spellcaster's companions or whatever. Uh, there are non-weapon proficiencies that can be used depending on what you're doing, such as weapon improvisation. Uh, so if you don't have a weapon handy and all you've got is a tree branch, you can, uh, it can knock off some of those uh, modifiers. There are class abilities, uh, such as um, the ranger's class ability to dual wield. It can knock some of the negative modifiers off to dual wielding. And then there are some other things uh, as well that are, that are just uh, specific to a particular situation and uh, kind of difficult for me to think of a, a real good example right now, but I know they're out there. All right, now when it comes to armor class, things that can uh, that can affect your armor class. Uh, first thing is your dexterity. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of armor you're wearing, if you've got a high dexterity, I want to say 15 or 16. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my player's handbook with me, but uh, that's where you start getting uh, adjustments to your armor class, uh, just from general quickness, being able to duck out of the way, that kind of thing. After that, uh, the type of armor. And as uh, when I was talking about armor class before, uh, different types of armor um, uh, give uh, different uh, armor class bonuses. And uh, if you look in, uh, in the Dark Sun Rules book from the original uh, box set, um, in the chapter uh, about treasure, there is even a uh, There's even a uh, table for piecemeal armor, so uh, it can tell you a full suit of every type of, you know, all the common types of armor, which there's like eight or nine of them, and then it'll tell you, okay, if you're wearing just an arm that is leather armor, this is how much it's worth. Uh, if you're wearing just the breastplate, or it doesn't say cuirass, but it means cuirass, of brigandine armor, this is how much it's worth. If you're wearing just one leg of full plate mail, this is how much it's worth. That way if you find a little bit of this and a little bit of that and you've got a mixed suit of armor, you can do it. Or if you're, say, like um, if you've ever watched uh, Spartacus Blood and Sand, a lot of times they'll wear just one arm of this uh, overlapping leather armor. Uh, you know, you, you, could, you could then determine what your armor class was with just that. And that's about all I've got for this video. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, thank you very much. And, uh, oh, hey, you know what? I skipped several things here, so let's go back to this. And then you've got uh, magical pluses to your armor. Uh, just like with, um, with Thacko, you also have spells that can improve your armor or the armor of, uh, of companions, improve your armor class. Um, you have uh, 
non-weapon proficiencies uh, such as uh, armor optimization and you have spells or excuse me special class abilities and there are quite a few but the first one that comes to mind is also called armor optimization and that is uh, a gladiator a Thacian gladiator special ability uh, which will drop your as long as you're wearing a piece of armor you can just have one on just a single grieve as long as you're wearing a piece of armor uh, every five levels it will drop your armor class by one so okay now I'm actually done uh, thank you I hope this has been helpful and I am sorry for the two pauses but I'm doing this at work so when someone comes through basically I just have to shut up and wait for them to go by if there's anything at all that um, you feel like uh, I didn't cover here well enough or you've got any questions after this uh, that for some reason I just was not um, I didn't elaborate on enough just uh, please uh, comment on it and I will uh, either try to address it in the comments or maybe make a new video. Thanks.